Hey there, bubble butts. It's Carrie with the Gilded Bubble, and today I am remaking my honeysuckle soap yet again, and I'm using Evergreen Mica from Brambleberry. I'm also using Taxi Cab from Mad Micas. I love that yellow. So much better than Lemon Cupcake, in my opinion. And the fragrance, of course, is Honeysuckle from Virginia Candle Supply. I think I've said this before, but if you love honeysuckle, like actual honeysuckle, that is the best fragrance ever. Ever. So why am I remaking this? Well, remember last time I didn't quite like the muted colors quite as much, so I thought, mm, gonna do it again, and it's gonna be better, right? Um, the best laid plans of mice and men or some shit like that. Uh, it didn't quite work out the way I planned, but I still liked it, but I have to have a plan for the next time I make it to change it yet again. Your girl messed it up. She did stuff that she knew better, not to do, and did it anyway. So let's watch and see what Carrie screws up today. So I'm adding my lye water solution. I do water discount, so that's one thing I could have changed to maybe make this uh, slow down a little bit. Uh, but, uh, you know, normally that doesn't really affect what I'm doing too much. In this instance, though, oof. I could have changed so many things. So I really only work to get this to emulsion. So I didn't over mix it really at all. I mean, this is just barely past emulsion, maybe even getting to a very light trace. But as you can see there on my stick blender, it's not separating, but it's also not leaving a trail in the soap. So it's not too trace yet at all. And I can see how easily I can get that off of there. It's very, very fluid. So that wasn't my problem. I wonder if you can guess what my problem was. Uh, but I, I did actually, like I said, I came out with a soap that I liked. I cannot complain. It just wasn't what I had planned. Ain't that always the way, girl? Ain't that always the way? Uh, there's nothing on the screen right now because, you know, hey, why bother putting anything in frame, Carrie? And then my mom pulls it right back out. Oh, we're a disaster. But yeah, she's mixing the evergreen in for me, which I do really love this color. I, I'm a fan of green, and that's cool. Um, but you can see how this is starting to set up already. Um, can you guess what I did? No, I put the fragrance in the whole batch. I don't normally do that, but I'd worked with this fragrance before, and I thought, nah, it'll be fine. It won't be fine, Carrie. Don't do that again. Um, it thickens up really, really quickly, and no amount of uh, hoping and praying stops it from doing so. On camera, Taxi Cab there looked really, really almost orangey, but it's it's a really pretty sunny yellow when you're all said and done. And then here I go with the titanium di dioxide, which, okay kids, what does titanium dioxide do to your soap batter? If you said it ex makes it accelerate, you'd be right. Uh, and look at that. It's accelerating already. And here I go mixing this in and I'm like, oh crap, this is, this is going too quickly. My plan was to stick blend this a little bit to really get that white mixed in, but nope, can't do that. I mean, look at it. It looks like pudding. What? You know, and I can just tell by my body language, just my hand that I was panicking here. Uh, and I just go, okay, shit, we're going to pour it. I didn't even care if all that white got incorporated. I didn't care if it came out white. I was like, if it comes out off white, I'm cool. We got to go. And so I threw that in there and I was like, oh crap, what am I doing? <clears throat> Look how thick the green is. And plop, plop, plop. You're not getting a drop swirl today, Carrie. Oh no, no. But what I did learn from my last adventure where I um, realized my white had set up too much is that I can stir it a little bit with my uh, spatula. What I should have done, but I don't have, I should have done a hanger swirl, but I didn't have, I mean, I have a hanger, obviously, I could have gone and gotten, but by then it would have been way too set up. Um, but in the future, if I, yeah, I need to have that on hand, that would have worked in this instance as well. But what I'm doing here with my spatula by digging into that white actually did something really cool that you'll get to see when I cut it. Um, but yeah, I was panicking. I thought I had ruined this whole batch of soap. And sorry about the ding. I got a text, people. <laughs> I uh, should have muted. Um, but yeah, I, I I panicked. And again, yellows do this. So yellows and greens are so weird, but neither one of these I've ever had a problem with. But this one here, it looks so almost orangey. It's like a gold. Um, when it saponifies, it won't be that color. It'll go back to yellow. This green, though. I love this green. I also love um, Three Olive Martinis, a very similar green from Mad Micah's. Um, but I, I, one of the first orders I placed, 
um, was from Brambleberry and I don't remember why, but I went ahead and ordered a couple micas because I was like, okay, I just want to ha- get all this at once and, you know, be able to do this. And, uh, I, you know, I like them well enough. I, I, there's a few things I don't like about Brambleberry. Um, you know, their product is, is fine. Um, their labeling bothers me. I know everyone's had complaints about that where it fades, um, you know, pricing, eh, they're not the best price. Um, but I can't complain about their quality. And I will tell you, I love that. I, you know, I love this damn mold. I love, I've, I've never bought a mold from them that I didn't love. I have some of their cane molds. I have, um, two of these, uh, molds. I have their dividers that fit this mold. Um, I think I'm trying to think what else maybe I have. So I, you know, I have some fragrances from them. One of the fragrances I use in my, the green stuff bar, uh, is from them and it's perfect. I love it. I want to use it in everything. Um, and I don't know, a few other things. So I don't, I don't, I don't by any means dislike the company. I, you know, I know people have had some issues, but it's, it's, it's tough sometimes to get what you want within the time frame. And Mad Micah's is here in Florida. So when they ship, I get it within a day or two. So, uh, obviously that's going to be my preferred source for Micah's just for shipping time alone. So yeah, I'm beating this down. It looks a muddy mess. And I remember saying that to my mom as I'm tamping it down. I'm like, this is a muddy mess. This is going to look awful. And she's like, no, 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 it, sh- it could be fine. You don't know. And I'm thinking, yeah, right. What do you know, lady? And uh, don't ever say that to your mom, kids. Um, and I thought, oh, crap. And then I started doing this and thought, oh, I'm just making it even muddier. Uh, so I decided to texture the top, which if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know I hardly ever do. But I had to in this case because I wasn't going to get a smooth top no matter what I did. And I didn't want this just green goopy color on the top. So I grabbed a spoon and just decided to, yeah, my mom tries to hand me a chopstick to swirl it. And I'm like, swirling ain't going to work, sis. So I went ahead and got my frame. Even though this is very thick, it will bow out some because it's so full. And originally I was like, well, okay, yeah, I'll do the chopstick. I'll just swirl it. Swirling was just going to make this worse. So I went ahead and thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and sculpt this top. Uh, I may or may not plane it off. I haven't decided yet. Um, but at the time I photographed it, um, I, it, it, I still had it um, with the textured top. And that was just me pulling that little bit of extra away from the edge to help those corners unmold a little better. I don't know. I saw that trick somewhere and thought I'd try it. I don't think this soap needed it, but meh. There were so many things already wrong with it. I thought, well, it's worth a shot, you know? And so I am horrible at texturing soap tops because I never do it. So here I am trying to make this look good. And uh, eh, it's all right. It's all right. It's not the worst thing I've ever done. I'll say that. One of my first soaps was the worst thing I've ever done. And even it wasn't that bad. I mean, there you go. That's what I did. It's all right. And here I go again, doing doing some absolutely nonsensical shit. So uh, that is the redesign of my honeysuckle soap that will probably get redesigned yet again. So you'll get to see it again. I'm sure you're so thrilled. You're like, Carrie, I don't need any more yellow and green soap, but hey, you know what? Your girl's going to come through anyway. Um, And (laughs) I don't even, I just, anyway, here's the cut in three, two, and let's cut this bad boy, shall we? So you can see my textured top and that green just, I love that green. It's got a little bit of soda ash on top um, and it got a little more after this, but it's fine. Again, it's a little bit of a rustic top, so it doesn't, that doesn't bother me. Um, I'm just trying to make sure my wires are tight enough you play them like guitar strings and you can tell it's very fun I should have left that sound in and oh look at that this goes through like butter actually this one was a little tougher because I'd let it set up a little longer (laughs) you could see me ever since I broke this cutter I'm so terrified of breaking it again which is so silly because now we know how to fix it so uh, there's my little sample end but here you go So those little points at the bottom, that was from me pushing the spatula down in there. And uh, I do have a little, couple little air pockets in it. I filled those in with soap when I cleaned it up, but it's, it's pretty good. I can't, yeah, see, there's a little, little, little air pocket in it. Um, But yeah, I'm, I'm happy. All things considered, I am thrilled with how this turned out. I mean, look at, and that big clump of yellow, I actually really like that. That one turned out really good. Look at that swirl. It would have been so much better if I'd had a hanger to swirl with. I see, I don't ever do hanger swirls, so I don't keep that nearby. That one's really good. 
That one almost looked like I did a hanger swirl on the bottom. But yeah, it would have helped pull that all the way through. So it would have been a little bit more uniform instead of, you know, chunky like that. But I, oh, that looks like a little jack-o'-lantern face. <laughs> I hold it up the correct way, Carrie. I'm just moving them closer um, so that I don't get soda, soda ash on each individual bar because these were still pretty wet. Florida, it's humid. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I like that one too. Uh, I can't remember which one. Oh, you'll see in a second which one I photographed. I think I might have photographed that one. I like that. I like those little spiky points though. It, it's, it's good. It's still not what I wanted. I wanted a drop swirl, y'all. So the last two times I've done this, I have not achieved a drop swirl. And the first time I did a honeysuckle soap, I had like a mountain design in it. Oh, that's beautiful. So you'll see this one again. Hopefully we'll achieve a drop swirl that time. As always, I would love, 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 love it if you would like my video. I don't know. There's another song for you. I'm just going to sing songs forever. But also, you could leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this version of the Honeysuckle Soap. I'll link in the cards the one that uh, I made before this, and you can see. Also, you can find me on Instagram. I'm, at, I'm on TikTok now. Horrible at it, but there I am. And Facebook at The Gilded Bubble, or you can find my soaps at thegildedbubble.com. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>